Hey, welcome back. It's Lisa Talib here in Tucson, Arizona. Today I wanted to give you some tips to take your breathwork practice further. So you can go back and review my video that says nervous system reset using nine breath method. This is a holotropic breathing technique that instructor Jeff Primack used to travel around the country teaching in workshops and I had the pleasure of studying with him in 2012 and then doing more intensive advanced work with him in 22. And so after that advanced practice with him in 2022, I really made a much more firm commitment to not just practice here and there, but to really make it a part of my daily routine. And this has been a really important part of my own recovery from complex chronic illness, like mold illness and Lyme disease. Obviously it's not the only thing I do, but it is very helpful to help my body use oxygen better and also to keep my nervous system in a relaxed, calm, present state. So several of the things we need to pay attention to. The first is hand placement. This seems very simple. A um, couple guidelines. If you have a larger body or a bigger chest, you can have the bases of your thumbs with your hands in prayer position tucked in where you're right up against your sternum. If you're petite like me or a man or someone with a very small chest, um, you should be able to pretty comfortably have your hands about a hand's length in front of your body. So I'll turn around and show you here as if I had about a hand's width in front of it. And what that accomplishes is you're creating a kind of a bubble of chi between yourself and your hands. And then as you gently press back into it, it's almost that feeling of pressing into the soap bubble that is going to increase your energy and allow you to do a longer, slower exhale on the exhale portion. And when you think about the exhale portion, you don't just wanna be blowing your air out. You wanna really think of it as if you're trying to inflate a balloon, keep it inflated. It's almost like a breath hold, but imagine that you made a tiny little hole in the balloon with a needle before you blew it up. Then you blew up this nice big fat balloon, but there's a tiny little string of air leaking out. That's the level that we wanna be exhaling just barely exhaling, but mostly holding full, okay? So that's a really big principle that's going to guide our practice today. Now, another thing you may notice, I'm sitting up a little higher. I'm actually sitting on a yoga block. If I take it away, I'm much more flat, but it's easier to kind of collapse in and have your back round. So I find if I'm sitting on a yoga block, or you could use a meditation cushion, that props your hips up and just makes it easier for your spine to be really tall and straight without much effort at all. So it's a great hack. If you don't own a yoga block, you can also try a rolled up or folded up towel or blanket. Um, don't have to go out and buy special equipment for this, but yeah, it does help to be seated up a little bit, or you could even be sitting in a chair. If you are sitting in a chair, you wanna kinda have, um, just be at the edge of the chair rather than all the way back. So you're sort of hanging off a little bit, but you're still supported by the chair. So. The first three breaths, we're just kind of taking nice big belly breaths, relaxing. You can close your eyes on this part and just kind of do a body scan. Make sure you release any tension if you feel it in your face or neck, shoulders. And then after the first three breaths, we're gonna bring our hands into that prayer position, whether you're out in front or press right up against, whatever feels best. And for the majority of it, we are breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. And during the warrior's breath portion, we really are kind of sucking in the tummy, super flat stomach, because we're not inflating the belly, we're inflating the chest, that's why I call it warrior's breath. So it's that activating breath where you're filling up here rather than the usual relaxation breath where you're filling down here, but we're gonna be playing with these two different areas in our practice, so we will be using both. But for the initial section, the inhale, it's really high up here, out through the nose, Five, seven, eight. We're gonna slow it down. Pause. Now on the last one, nine, in through the nose. Top it off as full as you can. Hold, we're gonna hold full for 10 seconds with the air up here. We'll call that 10. Then we're gonna swallow, pop your belly out like you're making a big pregnant belly. Hold another 10 seconds here. Breath is not moving, we're just holding full. And then we will start that long, super slow exhale as if you're blowing through the tiniest little straw or just allowing a little leak in your very 
very full bloom, so. So if I put a microphone right here, you would not hear me blowing out. This is just allowing the tiniest little stream of air to come out. And we are also pushing the belly out at the same time. So remember, visualize that you have turned into this big balloon that has a tiny little hole right here. You're mostly focused on keeping yourself full and round, really pressing uh, as if you're blowing air into the diaphragm, blowing air into the belly, and yet there's this subtle little leak coming out your mouth the whole time. So as you get closer to the bottom of your lungs, running out of air, you may start to feel a little bit of a panic or maybe even like a fluttering in your heart, a sense of your body saying, I can't, I can't keep going, I can't keep going, this is too much. So pause, swallow, and then resume the breath in that pausing and swallowing kind of helps you regroup. It tells the nervous system like it's okay, you're not in danger, and then just keep seeing how long you can go. Now, I really recommend that you use either the stopwatch function on your smartphone, or if you have an old school manual stopwatch, that's great too. Mostly you just don't wanna have to be in your head counting. Firstly, most people cannot count a perfect second, especially if it's going past a minute, you're not gonna be exactly right on the timing. So instead of guessing wrong or losing count, God forbid, at a minute, 10 seconds, then going, wait, where was I? Just don't even worry about it. Don't look at the clock. Just let the clock roll. And at the end, when you can't exhale anymore, that's when you look down at the clock and go, okay, interesting. I was at a minute. I was at a minute 30, whatever it may be. No judgment, no competition. Just notice it, reset your clock, and then we'll do the next round. So the next round, if you wanna take this further, you know, beginner version, we just do another nine breath and then another nine breath after that. So the super simple basic beginner one is just three sets of nine and that's it. it takes about 10 minutes. It'll take about 15 minutes if we're doing it the more advanced way. So in the more advanced way, the first set is nine breaths like we just went through. Then the second set is gonna be 18 of the warrior's breaths. And the third and final set is 36 breaths. And you will find that each time you do a bigger exercise of more warrior's breath before the exhale, it's gonna be easier for you to do a longer, slower exhale. So very typically my first round might be one minute to a minute 30 for the nine breath. My second round is often around a minute and a half to two minutes on the 18 breath. And then the 36 breath, I typically hit around two minutes, but I've gotten several times two and a half minutes and once I even hit two minutes 45 seconds and there are some people who can hit up to four minutes so just challenge yourself how much better can you get over time because um, I have improved it by about an extra minute plus over the course of two years of daily practice so even if you're barely hitting 45 seconds that's fine that's where you're starting and you can get better over time. So we'll go through round two of the 18 breath. We're gonna get our hands in position here. We'll start by just a thorough exhale. And now we're gonna count 18. In through the nose, out through the nose, and up here, keep your tummy flat. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, halfway there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'm gonna slow it down, 17. 18. Pause here, hold empty. Getting ready for 18, in through the nose, and then we're gonna hold full. In through the nose, 18. Top it off through your mouth. Full as you can get, hold it full, 10 seconds. Now we're gonna swallow, allow the air to pop down, out of the lungs, into the belly, another 10 seconds. 
And now we're going to start that super slow exhale through the tiny little hole in the mouth. Get your stopwatch and start. If your arms are out here, you can make a tiny movement, quarter of an inch inwards, pressing against that bubble of chi. You may find that helps you rise up a little taller. Remember the whole time that you're tiny little stream coming out here, you are also blowing pressure here, right into your diaphragm, and right here, keeping that pregnant with yourself energy, about to rebirth yourself. When we are doing this technique, we are actually stimulating natural DMT production in the brain. That helps completely transcend ordinary consciousness. You are no longer in this room thinking thoughts. You're kind of floating in outer space. I definitely encourage you to play with the idea of entering a state of suspended animation where the world out there can just wait and you are in an altered state. Give yourself permission to die for a couple of minutes here to leave your life so you can come back as if reborn. Obviously I'm chatting so I lost count, but uh, you want to really be kind of draining the lungs here. And again, you will hit a point when you're at a certain emptiness of the lungs where your body kind of goes, uh oh, uh oh, I don't have enough air. So pause, swallow, stop the breathing, swallow, and then resume that tiny stream. And when you've run out, that's okay, you've run out, press stop on your stopwatch and notice the time. It should definitely be at least five, 10 seconds more than the last round, but maybe 30 or more seconds past it. And then our final round, we wanna take about three breaths in between each round, just to refresh the lungs, restore the nervous system, tell the whole system we're doing okay, no need to worry or panic. And then after those nice three deep breaths, we are going to once again do that purging exhale. And also notice, you notice in that breathing that we're rocking back and forth. So this rocking movement, not only does it accentuate the in is up and out, goes down, but this rocking motion actually naturally stimulates serotonin production. So there's another neurotransmitter that we're kind of hacking in this simple practice. So ready, we're gonna purge out any old bit of CO2 in the lungs. And now one, two, three, four. Remember, tummy's tight here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Halfway there, keep going. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, three quarters away there, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, slow it down. Last one, 36, in through the nose. Top it off. Still up here, hold full. Swallow, pop it out, 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly start that exhale, barely exhaling, mostly filling the diaphragm, filling the belly. Feel that balloon energy pressing out and there's just a tiny little leak. How slow, how small of a hole can you breathe through? It also helps if you place the tip of your tongue either just behind your front teeth 
if it is morning or active time of day where you want to boost your energy if it's right before bed you can press the tongue just under the bottom tooth there and that kind of signals the nervous system to relax more so remember if you feel like you're starting to run out of air pause hold the lungs full swallow pop out the tummy pop out the diaphragm resume that tiny strand of breath And again, your stopwatch is counting for you, so you don't need to worry about the time. And play with this on your own. See if you can get to two minutes. See if you can get past two minutes. See if you can beat me. See if you can go beyond two minutes, 45 seconds. Of course, it's never really a competition, but if you wanna have a little friendly competition with yourself or friendly competition with me, just kind of challenge yourself. Can I do even better than Lisa? Sure, why not? Try. Um, so that is it. That's the basics of nine breath method um, and even the advanced 36 breath method. The spirit of this practice is that we are leaving the ordinary state of consciousness, leaving our ordinary routine lives and coming into a really sacred space where we are just present. We are pregnant with ourselves, pregnant with our own potential, full of our own light, rebirthing ourselves. It only takes 15 minutes a day and you will definitely find your ability to meditate will go through the roof, just the ability to turn off thinking brain and enter a state of just being becomes much easier. And also after nine breath, I have found it's way easier to just do a sitting meditation. You've already cleared your mind, you've already turned off the monkey brain and you can just be present in your body, noticing sensations, feeling how energy is moving. I like to feel, um, often I know I'm in the flow when I feel like my energy moves like a fountain, that it comes up, goes out, and then recycles back through, up, out, and through again. It can also be really nice to just gently place your hands on your thighs. Um, you can even start to lift up as if you're lifting off, but instead of lifting off, just start to lift, and that may help you notice the feeling of energy moving through your legs. And it's also just, especially for women, gently, lovingly touching your thighs is a great way of resetting if you ever were mean to yourself or critical of your legs like so many women are. It's a great way of making peace with your body, thanking your body for its tireless service and thanking yourself for committing to yourself and loving yourself.